Maxim valves are only designed to cater for relatively low flow rates. When the flow rate gets too high, the pressure drop gets extremely high as well, and the valve doesn't function correctly. So in H2X, we provide warnings when the maximum flow rate of a valve is exceeded. This is only in, an, in unusual circumstances. So things like a burp and bubble, there's a really high flow rate. So to resolve this, you've really got two options. One option is you could click on the valve here and you can override the maximum flow rate setting if you wanted to, and you, didn't, you knew that there was a valve capable of doing that. Alternatively, what we would recommend is to share the load between multiple valves. So to show you how that would work, you could do a can copy and paste here to bring this extra TMV in. Um, and because now we're serving the Birkin pool uh, through two valves, we can halve the flow rate. So instead of um, this node being one liter per second, we've now got two nodes, half a liter per second each. And then we can connect this up with the pipes. So we'll, uh, we'll connect the hot water pipes here and uh, we'll do the same for the cold water as well. Now, when we come back to the results, we see that warning has gone away because the flow rate has been divided by two and therefore the, the valve can, can handle that flow rate. It's got correct pressure drop. Um, yeah, and you'll now get your results. So hopefully that helps.